Hello and welcome back to the channel. With Necromancy Fresh Out of the Oven, we've got a ton of guides and tutorials to make. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the task set. The Tier 1 Tome of Um is a reward for the easy City of Um tasks. It gives you a few damage bonuses, 10 free teleports a day to the smithy, and the ability to send all your bones and big bones dropped from monsters straight to your focus storage at the ritual site. In addition to this, it has a 10% chance to make a 4-dose Necromancy Potion while brewing potions in the city, and a 2.5% chance of receiving extra runes while runecrafting in pure essence. So if you're someone who's looking to make money, this is going to be really important to have. It also offers a 3% XP bonus from dispelling disturbances during a ritual. Task 1 is super simple. Just buy something from the supply shop and um, and it's directly to your left after crossing the bridge for the first time. Task 2 is to deposit a focus object in your storage. You can put all of your bones and other focus objects in here, so you don't need to carry them in your invent or clutter your bank. Task 3 is to find the amazing viewpoint. It's right next to the general store. As seen on screen, the clickbox for the staircase is a little wonky, but all you have to do is walk up to the top like this, and you're good to go. For task 4, you want to complete a lesser necroplasm ritual. This is extremely easy to do. All you need to do is click on the ritual site to get started. For task 5, click on at least one disturbance during a ritual. They're extremely hard to see, so I'd suggest swapping to a world that has fewer people on it, and you can also click fixed camera view to possibly give yourself a better viewing angle. For task 6, you want to kill a ghostly troll with necromancy. It's directly north of the bank there. There's a small cave that's also a really good early level training spot, so you may want to actually stick around here a little bit longer than just completing the task. For task number 7, you want to go to the Lumbridge Catacombs and start fighting a skeleton with your conjured skeleton ability. You unlock the Conjure Skeleton ability by clicking on the Well of Souls and unlocking it with the Tier 1 skill tree. For task 8, go to the prayer icon north of the bank and talk to Selene. Go through all the dialogue options and then go through them again to learn your new prayers. For task 9, use the Touch of Death ability until your stacks reach 6, and then use Finger of Death. To do this, it's really easy. Just use it twice and then use Finger of Death and you'll be good to go. For task number 10, craft some regular ghostly ink while in the City of Um. This requires Lesser Necroplasm, a vial of water, and ashes. Just make sure you're in the city when you craft it, and you'll get the achievement. For task 11, after finishing the Rune Mythos quest, go back to the Rune Crafting area and craft more Spirit or Bone Runes. You'll need Bone Runes for a future achievement, so make sure to grab some of those too. The final and 12th task is to upgrade a piece of Necromancy equipment to tier 20 after the Killy Row quest. You'll need to go complete a ritual with the uninsold bars to turn them into insold bars, and then at that point, you'll be able to go to the Furnace with your level 10 gear and upgrade it to level 20. For completing the medium achievements, you get the Tome of Um 2. This gives you 10 free daily teleports to the ritual site. Baby Dragon Bones and Wyvern Bones can now also be sent to the Focus Storage. Also grants you a 10% chance for a 4-dose Super Necromancy Potion while you're in the City of Um, and the 2.5% chance received from the Tier 1 is increased to 5% to receive extra runes from Impure Essence. So if you're going to be doing a lot of rune crafting, you're going to want to get this as soon as you can. You also get an additional 3% XP bonus from the Tier 1 uh, for Ritual Disturbances, so that's now up to 6%, and an additional 5% Necroplasm output from Rituals. For the first task, you need to make a Necromancy Potion while in the City of Um. To do this, you need a Marital Potion, and you add a Cadaver Berry to it. You can loot a Cadaver Berry south of Varrock. For task 2, you need to upgrade your equipment all the way to tier 50. This can be done after the Killy Row quest. Task 3 is to craft Flesh Runes. To do this, head to the runecrafting spot with your Impure Essence, and click on the Altar. Task 4 is to use Reflect while Lesser Bone Shield is active. To activate it, you'll find it in your Incantations menu, and all you need to do is click on it, provided you have the correct runes in your invent. From that point, use the Reflect ability, and you'll get the achievement. Task 5 is to use the Command Skeleton Warrior ability, which requires the second tier on the Talent Tree. In order to get Tier 2 on the Talent Tree, you need a total of 400 souls, so you may need to get to your Rituals. Task 6 is to simply teleport to the City of Um using the Teleport Incantation. This is unlocked after completing the Rune Mythos quest, which is a very easy quest that'll take you almost no time at all. Task 7 is to use any Alteration Glyph in the Ritual. The most likely one you'll have at lower levels is Multiply 1, and all you do here is just add the glyph during one of your rituals. The menu is a little bit hard to see, so just make sure you click on Alteration Glyphs and you'll see all the requirements respectively there. Task 8 requires you to complete a Communion Ritual using a Memento. Mementos are a rare reward you can get from rituals, but you can also purchase them on the Grand Exchange for a couple hundred thousand GP or less. For Task 9, you need to conjure a zombie while fighting something in the Edgeville Dungeon. This requires the third tier talent on the talent tree. And the final task for the medium City of Um task set is to make one of the things you're fighting apply the bloated status to two targets on death. The bloated ability applies the bloated effect to targets nearby. So go anywhere with crowded mobs, use the bloated ability, and you'll be good to go. Thank you all so much for watching this video. As always, if you want more necromancy content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and ring the bell.